Hello everyone, I'm Chris Erickley and welcome to your Thursday edition of The Political Empire. We begin with potential tax incentives for senior home buyers. Riverside County supervisors this week disagreed over whether to give senior citizens tax incentives to buy homes in the county. Here to discuss with, with us now is uh, reporter Jeff Horseman. Jeff, what is the county uh, consider, considering doing to learn more senior home buyers? Well, it has to do with this thing called Proposition 90, which pa voters passed in the late 1980s. And what it allows counties to do is to say to uh, those 55 and older living outside the county, uh, the counties can say to them, look, if you move to our county, you can take your old tax assessment with you. And so what this means is that uh, for these homeowners who are moving to the county are able to carry over their old assessment, uh, usually they pay significantly less in property taxes. And uh, two supervisors, John Benoit and Kevin Jeffries, uh, want the county to offer this incentive because they think that, hey, it'd be great to get some seniors to move in here, they'd be spending money here, they'd be volunteering here, and it's just, it, it's a good way to uh, lure more people to the county. And who is objecting to this right now and, and why? Well, Supervisor Jeff Stone seems to think this is a bad idea. He's saying that, you know, it's essentially what it would mean is that the existing homeowners, particularly the senior homeowners, would be kind of subsidizing the new arrivals, that the county really shouldn't be looking at offering this incentive at a time when it's still facing considerable financial challenges. And finally, he says that really this incentive isn't needed because the economy is starting to bounce back and home sales are on the rise. And what did the county end up doing? Well, they voted 4-1 to one with Supervisor Stone approved to basically get, get the ball rolling on this. So what's going to happen is the county assessor and the uh, county's legal team are going to come up with an ordinance to you know, kind of formalize this incentive, and then it's going to come back before the board at a later date for final approval. All right, Jeff, thanks for that update. That does it for your Thursday edition of The Political Empire. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.